It's the Flame Central Podcast. Yes. Let's powered, go, baby. Powered by Yacht Talk <laughs> or oh, come on. Alcova Mortgage? Maybe so. Come on. Joe's feeling especially yeah. good this week. Yeah, Somebody's got a little swag in him right We got now. a little group text last night yeah. because yeah. I didn't cut it off. I cut it off for um, Naz's little bit on Middle Tennessee's yeah, sleeper yeah, team. Yeah, then that. they beat La Tech yeah, in the yeah, CUSA tournament. Yeah, but then but something else the happened. The sleeper team else that happened. turned into the CUSA champion. Joe said it. He Joe said, watch out for it. Western Kentucky. Tell him, where did you hear it first? You heard it? Yacht Talk. It was Yacht Talk. You know what? Yacht Talk. You know, and, and, not a guy that likes to blow his own horn. I'm not listening to me. <laughs> not I'm a guy not trying to pat myself on the back. Joe. Just stop. Yeah. I'm not trying to blow. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to yeah, pump yeah, myself yeah, right, up. Right. You know why I do this? You know why I do it, man. Why is that? For the people, the people with the people, by the people, of the people. And the I just spoke for the people. Well, yeah. And okay. Western Kentucky brings home yeah. the conference. This is where, USA you know, you know, if I like really said what I would do in post production, <laughs> you put the little bit of Yacht Talk and it, you put it in black and white. Yeah. And it was like this last week, you know. Yeah. They, yes. yeah. Who has time for that stuff? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> anyway. So what uh, Western Kentucky brings yeah. on the bacon. Wow. So not good for, for the Liberty. Uh, we'll touch on, but we'll, yeah. we'll kind of wrap up basketball season as a whole for the men and women. Uh, we already to- talked on Joe Genius. Um, Joe, Joe Genius. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> That's catchy. You might want to market that. Uh, we can. Yeah. Talk, yeah. Joe Genius. Joe yeah. Genius. I mean, yeah. I'm so, sure that Twitter handle Your wife is will <laughs> shoot that down <laughs> oh so <my> fast. <laughs> Yeah, you have no idea. Yeah. Um, you and have no idea. guess what? Just because Flames basketball is over doesn't mean the Liberty Fl- or the Flames Central Bracket Challenge yes. that you can be a part Talk of. Do you want to just, you just want to put that March up now? Madness. Let's just do that now. Let's do it so now. So we don't have to count people listening long enough to hear us talk about later. <laughs> ESPN Bracket Challenge. Search Flame Central Podcast. That's the name of the group. Join our group. You can compete against all of us. We'll see if Joe can stay hot with his predictions. Uh, but Flame Central Podcast Group on ESPN.com's Bracket Challenge. Yeah, uh, and if join. you win, whoever wins, oh, whoever yeah. gets top five, Give me gets a mug. Talk. Give me a yacht talk mug. Well, well, yeah, we need to order some first. <laughs> we but need to order we'll, one. You'll get a mug, and I'll say this. How about this? Boy, give it to me. If you're in the, area, in the area or you just are such a dire fan, we'll let you come in for one of the tapings. Yeah. Come in for a, come in for a podcast. We'll have you on the wow. podcast. We'll, have you, oh, wow. we'll present Later. you a yes. mug. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dinner. Oh, I thought you said dinner. I said dinner. I'm like, whoa, we're not providing food. You thought I said dinner. Dinner at the house. Are you cooking? (laughs) No, yeah. We'll present you your mug here on the podcast. Yes. Not dinner. No dinner. No dinner. We might get you a gift card to like. By the way, I went to um, cookout for the first time. Amazing, isn't it? First first time. time. You love it. Yes. And I told her, I'm like, yeah, can I just have a burger? She's like, what do you want on it? And I'm like, However it comes, tray. get the tray. Wh- whatever it's reggae, yeah. you know. She goes, "Ma'am, it's made to order." And I'm like, "Holy smokes, is Matt Warner back there I'm talking you, to me?" It changed your life. Yeah, and those those shakes. I, I, I shake. you were right. I, you were I, right. No. Cook out. I, you know, you Flint Central podcast. We need to get them, Yeah, to cater our show. <laughs> if you need any advice on the bracket, <laughs> yeah, you need your picks. Yeah. Just message just me message privately. Yeah, yeah I just spoke to. We'll get winners. willing to consult. I was just talking with the class, and they got up and did all their questions after. They're like. Emily, by the way, I pick UConn to beat FAU. Anyways, my question's yeah. for, and I'm like, that's whoa, right. Right. what a this dig. Is, this All is right. her owl season. This is the one time of year where she, <laughs> where she pretends to be up. an FAU fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we hit the bracket, Flame yeah. Central Podcast, when you're on ESPN. Yeah. Um, we'll talk a little bit about McKay and some heated battles and discussions I got em- into Emily, on Twitter. And do you know that? Do you, Matt goes out of town and I just go, do you, it's, it was a mess. Do you know that, that meme? I don't even know what show it's from. Maybe it's. Um, Game of Thrones, I don't know, I've never seen it, but where it's the one guy with the sword standing there facing a whole whole army by himself. That was Emily on social media (laughs) against any critics. Anything for Coach McKay. Emily was just like taking them all on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, Someone's got to do it. Somebody told me, have you seen what Emily's been? Uh, I'm like, oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. Hey, while the mouse is away. No. Oh, the cat <laughs> no, is away. No, the, the mice will, will play. Yeah. Cats will play. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll talk about McKay and I just, being we'll on talk the about hot the state seat. of the program. I think it's fair to talk about Those the state of the program. Those are air quotes if you're listening. Yeah. Um, and then the flamethrower. Uh, no, oh, yeah. no deaths to be reported with the flamethrower just <laughs> Joe, yet. Have you but, put that video out on anywhere publicly that you showed us? 
Yeah, oh yeah. It's oh, it is. Good. Is it? Okay, Facebook, I just thought yeah. you texted it to me. Joe yeah, we, with the flamethrower. Yeah, it's yeah, the flamethrower. With just, the sun un- setting in the believe. background. Sun setting in the background. It's, it's all that is America. Yeah. I mean, it's everything that's right about America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Simple. Simple. It really yeah. is Simple. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, you can watch that video at Yawk Talk on Twitter. J-A-U-C-H. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. um, okay, so let's talk about this men's side of okay. the CUSA tournament. Matt had feet on the ground with Naz, calling yep. the first five. And let me tell you, they games. were cold feet because that court is on top of ice because it's a ice, hockey ice arena. Baby. How cold? Is it? I'm like, we would do our on cam thing and our polos. As soon as it would cut away, I had my winter coat and I would throw it on to do the rest of the. It was, really? It was cold. Freeze. Oh, I would have. It was cold. <laughs> great I probably, event. I probably wouldn't have complained at all. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Did they do the event up right? Uh, good, great event. The people there were super nice, yeah. super great to work with, um, and so it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the coaches were almost all. Awesome to work with as well, oh and so God. like it was, yeah, it was a great event. Oh yeah, it was a great event. Not everybody. No, it was, it was awesome. We, were, we enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the first shocker was FIU beating Jack State in that in that leadoff in the game, eight, nine game in the eight nine game. Come back, yeah. Yeah, and then um, Sam Houston taking down FIU Liberty. Yeah. Let's focus on Let's that it. that Liberty game. Yeah. Um, we knew that UTEP wasn't going to just be a cakewalk. Oh no! But when you when you what did we score like two or four points in the last almost eleven minutes yeah. of the game? Like, yeah. of course there's going to be runs, there's going to be droughts. But yeah. the fact that you can't hit a free throw down the stretch yeah. or you can't get to the free throw line, what was it? Four total free throws that we've made that entire game to their like nineteen or yeah. something. Well, I mean, and we had seen it a couple weeks prior when right. they beat us here, mm-hmm. right? You saw their style. They speed you up. They're they're trapping. They yeah. they try to turn you over. They're first in the nation in, in forced turnovers per game. And while we did a pretty good job in the first half limiting the turnovers, during that stretch that you're talking about at the end of the ball game, that's where we got kind of sloppy with the basketball. Mm-hmm. And you end up with just a lot of empty possessions. Yeah. And that's what allowed them to come back into it. And it's not just empty. It's not just a turnover. They turn those turnovers into points on the oh, other end right. because they get it and they're running. That and they freshman, go. like back-to-back buckets. Yeah. Like, yeah. So so that was it. Like, we ended up shooting from the free throw line in the game 4 of 10, uh, which obviously isn't good. They were 19 of 22. Yeah. Right. So they got there more and then they knocked them down. they knocked them down. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the turnovers. And turnovers, like, we were one of the best teams in the nation at taking care of the basketball until, like, the last two and a half weeks of the season. Mm-hmm. We had – 15 or more turnovers in five of the last eight games. Ouch. Wow. I, I think I think we only had – I want to say it was only one game the rest of the season where we had 15 or more. So it was the last – that last chunk uh, of games, the last, what, you three or four leading weeks. You took leading the, the uh, nation, right, right. And, and steal. So, so those are two of those so five. That's, yeah, exactly. And so, but what, what do you think that is from? Just because the teams had film on Liberty now near the end of the season, they knew the through the body of work that they saw that hey, if we pressure and trap these guys more, they're going to turn it over more. Or was it just sloppy, more. sloppy play a little, on a little bit of a little both. bit of both and a little bit of the style you're playing? I mean, like she said, two of those five are the best team at forcing turnovers yeah. in the country. Uh, Western Kentucky wants to speed you up yeah. too, like they go fast, and then. Yeah, you just get – you got a little bit sloppy. And also when you get to tournament time – and this was something that Naz said last week that I thought was a great point, and then we saw play out, is how the games are officiated. Yeah. Like, not even just talking about the Liberty game. It was very physical. Yeah. Some of those other games, I'm telling you, the the Louisiana Tech-Middle Tennessee game, guys were just getting bodied, hitting the floor – there's so there no, no calls. So like that, it was, was it like yeah. that across the board? A lot of it was right. like that. Yeah. It was so Which I'm, physical. I, I, you expect that at that point. You expect point that. But season, then yeah. Liberty, obviously, we've talked about not a big team. So when it gets really physical like that, they're at an obvious disadvantage just because of the lack of size. And the, so then more turnovers, yeah. you know, leading that way. See, so. I, don't, I don't like that at all. I can't stand that across You would board. like it to be I, like I it is all year long. Yeah, I can't stand it. It's like, it's like you know, you get – play of the season, you learn to get yeah. into adjusted how the rest call games, how they, and then all of a sudden it's like all bets are off. Right. It's like in the NFL at the beginning of the season, they'll call every single hand pass interference right. penalty that there is flag, it's flag, like flag, flag. Point flag. Of emphasis. Like emphasis. Set, and then, but then by the time they get to playoffs, right. it's like a free for all of grabbing and nobody calls anything. I just yeah, don't I do. I, it's I like do the that. same like I don't know what your guys' stance is on, you know, the end of a game. 
when a guy goes up for a shot. Yes. You know, like, do you let more go then? Or if you get fouled, you got fouled. It's, and you call the foul. What, what it should it be? From minute it one be. to minute, you know, yeah, That's what 40. I'm saying. Yeah. And it's right. not. No. Yeah, okay. Here's where my level of concern was raised. Let me just, one other thing. Hold Sorry. on. Because we talked about this, and I think Gosh, you, I almost thought I was going to make a no, point. No, 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 no. Stay wow. Hey, you're no. Hey, you're getting close. I thought you were making the turn. Close. I thought you were making the turn close. away from Maybe the game. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. I'm not, I'm not oh, okay. turning then away Okay, then go ahead. Go ahead, then. No, really. I was, I was concerned at halftime when we made, I think it was six or seven triples, and we were down one point. Because I'm like, okay, so yeah. we hit that yeah, many right. threes in the first half, and we're and yeah, it was should a be point. winning. Right. You should be winning I by think, a good. I think I even asked Naz amount. at the half. I said, "What's more sustainable, Liberty in their shooting, or uh, I think it was like UTEP and however many turnovers they for her, whatever, like yeah. in the line." And it's like, well, yeah, I think we know the answer to that. It's UTEP probably because yeah. we made because the, what was the number I think I gave you last week? I said if Liberty makes. 10 threes, Joe yep. just got to chill. 10 threes, 12 or fewer turnovers, they win this game. And they finished with nine threes, 15 turnovers. Yeah. Yep. And that was, so that was, that was about right. But yeah, I mean, you had seven threes in the first half. You had Caden Matheny, who was just on fire, crazy hot, yeah. six of 10 from three, 20 points. He did uh, have a couple heat checks there. He did. And, like... and that was kind of the start of the slide, yeah. even. Yeah. Uh, but, but I mean, the bottom line is you can't turn it over like they did, and you've got to be able to cash down from at the line. Like you missed the front end of three one and ones, oh so that's goodness. six points potentially right there. Right. You just you just don't you no one <sighs> no one wins games that way. See Matt's throwing out these numbers about the threes and the steals, but Matt genius and Joe genius. Yeah, it, doesn't, it, just, it doesn't. It doesn't. Have that no, same I'll admit it that doesn't have, have the same. It doesn't have the same <laughs> ring to it. No. What, what were you gonna say, Joe? No, no, I was waiting on. No, you're good. Okay. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> no, uh, but overall, I think we saw the trend in the tournament that we did pretty much in yeah. the whole season. It was an off year. But when you look at this conference, and and, and Matt, I want you to make the point yeah, about giving this team. I, I'm not saying that this team isn't talent and doesn't have potential, but there are pieces missing, clearly, sure. to be even more competitive in this conference. They were competitive. They finished fourth in this conference. Right, like, yeah. And I know that there was a middle of the pack where it could have been fourth, it could have been eighth. I understand that. But at the end of the day, they finished yeah. fourth in this conference in their first year. And you split with the three teams ahead of you. Yeah. Like you beat it, yeah. all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, yes. I'll say this because I know there's a, there's a lot of backlash online and all that stuff, whatever. Like if this is a quote-unquote down year. Right. I'm okay with it. <laughs> like – be grateful right. because there's a lot of programs that this is a great year. A lot of them. Like you move up to Conference USA and you finish fourth with a team that is one of the smallest in the country. Like I feel like in some ways Richie McKay got as much out of this right. roster as he possibly could. Now, can you say people go back to the recruiting stuff? That's a, that's a different, that's different story. Topic. But like, but like with this group, you give this group to the other eight head coaches in this conference. Yeah. I don't know if they're getting to a four seed. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'll even say this. In talking to coaches there, I asked a few of the coaches when we talked to them before the tournament began. I was like, just objectively, take yourself and your team out of the mix. And aside from, like, Sam Houston, one of the favorites. It's like, who's a team in the middle of the pack that is could be scary and that you could see going on a deep run? All said Liberty. Really? They said Liberty. They said Liberty scares us. In yeah. fact, one of the coaches, I won't say who, but he was finished ahead of Liberty in the conference, said playing Liberty is like playing a triple option offense in football. I he thought goes, that was so he interesting. Goes, they do things that no one else does offensively. The way that they move, the, the way that they pass, yeah. the way that they set things up, he gets like, unlike anyone else, their system is so unique and different. He's like, I wouldn't want to play them on a short turnaround. Yeah. So, like, basically saying, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want to play in that second yeah. game where you have a 24 yeah. hours or less right. to prepare. Yeah, time to prepare. Uh, so, I do think, in a lot of ways, Richie McKay maximized what he had in this lineup. But, yes, obviously there are things that Coach McKay has even said they recognize now that have to change about the way they kind of construct uh, their lineup and, and their roster to be at the top of this league. Right. Yep. And and the the thing is too, it's like the level of expectation at Liberty. I guess is part of the deal. Yeah. Like right, Coach McKay has built the program up, had so much success. You look at all the other sports team, 
all their success. And so it's like, oh, and then you see what football does in Conference USA. And sure. so, oh, we're stepping into basketball season now. Yeah. Okay, we're going to dominate. But, well, guess what? It was at a it was at a different level of athleticism, mm -hmm. a different level of play. And so you got to pull the reins back a little bit, like you said, and be realistic with what's going on is that this may be a little bit more difficult and it's going to take some time to get used to the conference and used to how do you, how, how, how do you build a roster that matches up with the other athletes that you're right. facing? And think about this too, because you know, Liberty fans for the last four or five years, how many times do you see on social media or whatever people be like, we should be in the ACC. We should be, <laughs> they want to be, Right? No, it's listen. A, listen. Like that's that. good. You you have high yeah. aspirations. Yeah. You've won where you've been at. You want to go greater. Who doesn't want that? But know that the higher you move up, the more difficult it is. 100%. And you don't right. just – no one just runs through any no. conference. Right. Like, just real quick, the last 11 years in Conference USA, they've had nine different champs. Yeah. Like, no Nobody's one's just dominated. owning this right. thing. Yeah. It's not like that when you yeah. get to this level. But here's the other point, that when you play, and I say you as in Liberty, as a Conference USA or a Sun member, yeah. or an independent for football, you play an ACC team and you beat them and you think you belong in that conference, but here's the difference. You're playing that one yeah. ACC team and then you're playing Campbell the yeah. next week. Right. You know, so like... Can you beat an ACC team? Absolutely. But those ACC teams are playing that talent week in and week out. Coach Freeze said it all the time. He goes, yeah, you can beat those Power 5 programs, but beating them on a weekly basis yeah. is way different. And, and that's why you have to have a way different recruit, an athlete, to be able to compete on a week in and week out basis, you know, and, and being competitive me, in those in those um, uh, Power Five conferences. Let me just give you real quick because I'm like, let's kind of compare because and I think maybe part of it is 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 our fault in some ways, but I think it's also just I don't think people totally understood the jump from a Sun to Conference USA, and it didn't help that Liberty was preseason voted to win the conference. Right. That shows you these coaches, right. they didn't even know what to expect in this conference. You know, they had us in Middle Tennessee picked tied to top the conference. Mm -hmm. We finished fourth and seventh. Like, they didn't weren't even sure what this conference would look right. like. But you look at the net rankings, right? Conference USA, you go top net team, Louisiana Tech, 99th. You have five teams uh, better than 200th. Right, Liberty's 141, third best net. The A Sun had one team better than 200th. Lipscomb, 166. That. That's their best net. This, this is That's their I best know. net. This Say, okay, smart. let's go. Let's go do the same thing in Ken Palm. Everybody likes the Ken Palm analytics. They had Louisiana Tech, 95th best team in the country according to the Ken Palm rankings. Western Kentucky, 132. Liberty, 138. Five teams better than 200th. A Sun, Lipscomb, 165. That was their best team. No one else better than 200th. Then one last thing, WarrenNolan.com is a site that and he basically ranks out the conferences based on net. So like ranking the conferences. He had Conference USA, 15th best conference, A Sun, 26th best conference. So like that jump, that is huge. Could this team, yeah. this roster, they could have won the A Sun. Yeah, sure. yeah. Absolutely sure. they could have won the A Sun. But that's not where you're at anymore. Yeah. So to expect in one offseason right. to be able to make that kind of jump, like that's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. And for them to finish fourth, again, no one's happy about that over there. Richie's not sitting there not yeah. like patting himself on the back, no. being satisfied with that. But I don't think it's as dire as some people are making it out to be. Uh, and it's they're only going to improve from here. Forget March Madness. It is Matt Madness with these something. numbers. Yeah, let me tell you something. Telling telling the public what they need to hear. Yeah, let me tell you something. Like if they what was the name it. what was the name of that one analytics place they call them? Ken Palm or Ken Palm? Yeah, yeah. Ken Palm. Well, if if you started your own Warner.com, <laughs> yeah. I think it would race. Yeah, I'm talking okay. race to the top of the analytics yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, just, I, just I mean, you would have else. NBA teams. I analytics. can't do the math. Oh, I just steal where do the from Chicago Bulls else? go? Oh, Warner.com. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 Where do the Lakers go? Well, last check, LeBron, he's on Warner.com yeah. checking analytics. Yeah. I need other people to crunch the numbers. I just <laughs> steal Warner it after owns the, the fact. Web. Yeah. Warner owns the yeah. web of analytics. I'm an aggregator. Yeah, yeah. No, my problem is, yes, I didn't know it was that big of a difference in, in terms of the rankings with the, between the two conferences. But my thing is, and, and I get fans, and this is good. We've talked about this in the past with Flames Nation. Like, you want your fan base fired to up. be fired up when you're not winning a conference or look, you're not. Yeah. Look at any other Power 5 school. 
Yeah. Fans are unhinged, right? Yeah. We Indiana see it all the State, time. Indiana State got right. robbed, but yeah. there, there's there's a lot of yes, you want you want your fan base to care. Yes. And I'm not saying that I have a problem with that, but and if this was year five in the CUSA, would I agree yeah. with some of these comments? Okay, like I can I can understand if there's like a, the trend is going down, but I don't know how you can look at this situation. For a guy who legitimately built this program, right. like he is the reason Liberty Basketball Pe is where it is. People do not remember the state of Liberty Basketball when Richie took over. Yeah. It was one of the worst programs in the country. Yeah. And, and, that's and, and when you're the Kraken guy or whatever was uh, yelling by himself in the student body <laughs> section. There was one that's fan. That's you could hear him because it was, yeah, that's not the guy. There. Yeah. But, yeah. but now you're going to say he should be on the no, hot seat? No. Oh, stop. And I'm he should be on the hot seat? Like that <laughs> fires me up so oh, much stop. that he's not a fit anymore. <laughs> And then I'm like, okay, give me five names. <laughs> this is, she five was going names, at people a lot. Five me, names I, of coaches that would be better. No. A better fit than Richie McKay at Liberty University? Come on. Oh, that doesn't carry as much weight let, as it let, does let anymore. Go, that, that's because you don't go. have a name to let give me. Leave you have alone. no yeah. name that's a better fit than no, Richie McKay. No and could, alone. with that roster, could have even, they probably would have kicked him out of CUSA <laughs> if they were whoever your know, name but, was. Like, but it's just ridiculous. Like, yeah. have some have some passion care about the program but saying things that don't like make there any sense there at all See, there's not a lot of context the with these comments i understand right? that there's but not uh, when i see a gif at me and i see a paragraph <laughs> I'm like, babe, hold my jacket. <laughs> like, fired up. I get I so just, fired up. I don't like he, giving them any attention. Oh, Emily's like, that's no, it. Oh, no, no. Give him my phone. And then, and then he comes over. I don't even Was know who you are. The Germans bomb Pearl no, Harbor. Nobody's saying it. Nobody's saying it. My, and then you come back at me saying, oh, okay. oh he okay. just is going to come here because right, he, okay. he should stay okay. here because he's beloved. What? This is not, yes, Coach McKay is beloved, but look at what he's done. Listen. Check, please. Listen. <laughs> Listen, Please. don't just, pay any attention to that. You can't pay any attention it, to that. I understand. Okay. Like, so we move. got the I right guy, but I will say after all of that. We got the right guy. After all of that, absolutely, 100% the right guy. I will say this. This is the most interesting offseason since Richie took the job. Oh, yeah. 100% agree with that. The most interesting offseason. Yeah. I, I, yeah, oh, I don't do know what job. to expect. He knows what he needs to get. Yeah. He'll do a great job. He knows exactly what he needs to get. Yeah. And they'll they'll get out. And, that, I mean, and, and the portal changes everything. I, yep. I, yeah, you know? I just hope yep. that this coaching staff will embrace the portal. I think, you, I think you're at the point you in it, well, this level where you have to. You have no, to. I mean, Rich, I've already but had yeah. that. I've already had yeah. that discussion they're, they're with Richie. It's like enough. Richie Richie is, yeah, you absolutely. know, going to embrace the portal, but he's all he embraces the portal with kids that fit his style and what he expects to, of them on and off the court. Right. Yeah. You know, so that's where it's like, yeah, you, you're just going to go, oh, hey, here's this great athlete, but maybe he's not a fit. And I'm telling and you. He, and he he has a system, and he's going to stick to that and find the right player to fit, yes. the, fit his And that should be style. something, that part of it, the right fit for Liberty, that's something that should be celebrated because yeah. I'm telling you, there's a lot of guys out there that – they bring in a lot of people that can make you as a program look really yeah. bad really fast. Yeah. We saw it this year. We saw it. Right. right? They can put you in some hot water. Sure. Richie has never been about that. He's never done that. Yeah. And he's reaped the, the benefits both on the court but also off the court with all the great people that have come through this program. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. And, They'll and, be and with their process in the portal, I do feel like they would pick the right guys. We've seen yeah. it in Chris Parker and, and some other guys in the past. But – um, yeah, I'm, I need so to check Kate my... Matheny this year. Are you right, kidding me? Right, right. Matheny's awesome. Yeah. How many more years do you have? One more? One more. Two, one? Yeah. yeah. One? Um, yeah, I wonder if my guy who was coming at me is uh, asking for Tony Bennett's job because no. he can't make free throws either. Um, <laughs> See, don't... You can't... Okay, let's keep <laughs> going. Let's go. What's the next topic? Um, women's basketball yeah. came up short in the title game to Middle Tennessee, but wow, what Fought a hard. showing. Some yeah. huge... Shots for young Asia Boone, what she was able freshman to bring year. to the table this year. Freshman of the year, Bella Smuda coming and just breaking through. Um, and then Emma Hess also having yeah. a big year, both of them getting first team. Bella Smuda, all the defensive team. The future is bright for the the future. Future And this bright. was a program who we were not worried about. Obviously, the non-con schedule was insane. Yeah. But this was a – we were we – Going were into like, the season with the injuries that they suffered, uh, like transfer, it was like, oh, uh -oh. man, this could be rough. And what one, I think one of the better jo coaching jobs we've seen Kerry Green do with this group. And assuming you get everyone back you think you will, this team 
is going to be right there next because year. Because a lot of Middle Tennessee, that team has been together for two years, so yeah. I think a lot of them Like, this team is yeah. going are, to are be graduating. right yeah, there. Exciting. And so that really, really exciting. And, and I'm going to say it again. I may have said it last week or two weeks ago when Kerry Green was on. Like, they lose to Middle Tennessee. They go undefeated in the conference, whatever. Bella Smooth is the best player on the court every time they play. Yeah. Like, she is the most dominant player in the conference. And so if you get get, get her back for that last year – Keep everybody else intact. Get Smart. healthy. There it like, is. like, I'm I'm taking I'm taking the Lady Flames all day next year. Love like, it. I think they're set to have a, a dominant year themselves. A Smuda Matata. That's right. Smuda has one more year. She has if she wants it. Yeah. Hmm. Smuda, listen up. <laughs> I got somebody that can do a little speech off season speech for you. Go, <laughs> Joe, Joe, yeah. Take it away. <laughs> have you ever Have you ever wanted to shoot a flamethrower? <laughs> Could you want to shoot a flame for? Oh my gosh, yes, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. She, she's going to go to Twitter with like those, yeah. you know, posts. Yeah. The only reason I'll continue being a flame yeah. is yeah. I can be a flamethrower yeah. flame on the yacht compound. Flame thrower. All right, the, the future of flame, Lady yeah. Flames basketball yes. is in your hands, yes. literally. Yeah. Well, um, shoot it. All right, anything else with basketball? Wrapping up. Kind of so. weird that. You know, the I'll season is over. Yeah, but... I'm spending way more time than I should on the transfer portal trackers on Twitter right now. Uh, okay, so when is yeah, that? Yeah, I do up? get it's a open. few messages. It open. Oh, it open yeah. yeah, it's open now. Oh, midnight. So, so yeah, oh. so it's it's a free for all, and everybody says it's going to be even crazier than any past year because now you know no one has to sit for anything. So, like, it's going to be. Oh. What What did I also madhouse. hear um, yeah. on the selection show last night that this was the most difficult selection because. Was it eight teams that weren't supposed to win their conference? A lot of bid did. Stealers. So they took they yeah. took those bids that yeah. you know the St. John's wasn't happy this night. Yeah, the, and yeah. Indiana State, Indiana, Indiana State, State, and, yeah. and a lot, then a lot of Big East teams. Yeah, there, there's yeah. a couple. So yeah. it was super interesting year with that because you know Western Kentucky coming. NC State beating Carolina. NC State, NC State had no chance. Yeah, of their yeah. I mean, seat. speaking of hot seat, yeah, their coach is probably going to get fired, and then they go on a run. And hey, how about yeah. the guy from Long Beach State who was fired? It was fired. You heard that? Dan Monson, yeah. No. yeah. So the Monson guy, he they say to him, like, at the end of the season, going into the tournament, yeah. like, hey, all right, we're going to part ways at the end of this tournament, right? They won, like, the they, they won the conference. They won the tournament. They're playing the tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to change their mind. Yeah. They said I, don't they do. I don't know. I don't know if they <laughs> are. Like, oh, I, don't I don't know if they are, but yeah. That's good for crazy. him. Yeah. All right, well, shifting gears to, you know, spring. It kind of felt like spring this weekend in Lynchburg, oh, but now it's kind of a little bit of a tease. Uh, baseball, softball. Baseball kind of going through some growing pains right now. What's it's a baseball? Long What's happening in baseball, Matthew? Give you know us an what? update. They took two of three from Canisius, but it was right. far from pretty. Uh, that Sunday game, it was uh, it was a grind. They win 10-9. They I hit they a— win. They win. They won. They won. They won. They've had, they're having some pitching uh, issues. Uh, bullpen, a little inconsistent. Uh, but, I mean, conference play starts up on Friday, so, so you got to okay. figure it out. So it's haven't hit conference play yet. But yeah, it's it's been so, it's been a little more difficult than what what's the record imagine. sitting at right now? Right now you are at I think it's seven, eight and eleven. Eight and eleven, okay. Eight, eight and 11. eleven going into conference play. Conference so, play. Wait, uh, you got tomorrow? midweek against VCU, VCU tomorrow, yeah. and then I mean, you're in, on the road at, at Middle Tennessee <laughs> after that. So yeah, um, cold. Anyway. So yeah, so yeah. I know I'm gonna time. be bundled up tomorrow. But Coach Jackson lets me sit in the dugout sometimes oh, yeah. when it gets with, with the, the heaters. heaters yeah. So. It's nice um, yeah, so we'll see how they can uh, turn their season around as conference play starts for softball. First conference um, turn or first conference series that they hosted this past weekend against. Um, oh my gosh! Come on, Emily. Complete. Well, they swept uh, Jack State. State. Jack State. Well, their second Look at Dougie in the background. Series though. overall, because they won two or three. Yeah, at at, FIU, on the road. Yes. This is the first one they hosted at home. But just sweep. So they're mm-hmm. five and one. Also, yeah, Katie Love, freshman throw no hitter no on Saturday. Hitter. No hitters. Yep. First freshman. To throw a no hitter for Liberty since uh, 2016. It's the Alcova Mortgage no hitter of the game. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, so we're gonna call. It. Yeah, sure. Maybe they're a no hitter. Um, Rachel Roop is a boss. Liberty has now did two freshman pitchers. Mm-hmm. This Yoder girl they threw Friday. Love they threw Saturday. Like Dot seems to have found Dot's some gun. young guns on, on in the circle, as they say. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, you you like seeing that? And five and one to start league play. See, they between start. football and 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 softball, you can't look at them for. You know, transitioning to the CUSA yeah. because then they just come in and dominate. But yeah, well. like we said, very long season. Um, we'll be on the call. You're not on the call tomorrow for baseball against VCU, but that should be hopefully yeah. the the guys can 
Keep it rolling. You win your Next first, man your, up, baby. You won your Next first series up. since the season opening series. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can turn that. It was, I mean, you had a go ahead grand slam in the seventh or eighth. Then a go ahead home run. Yeah. I guess it would have been in the seventh. Go ahead home run in the eighth. So it was dramatic. We'll see if that gets the bats going. Other things going around Flame Central. We are headed down to spring training yes. down in Florida to catch up Ambulance. with Will Wagner. Going. You're going? Yes. Will oh. Wagner, he is with the. Um, the Astros affiliate, and then we're going to catch up with Joe Adamets over in Lakeland with the Detroit Tigers affiliate, and then um, Demario Douglas. Demario Douglas, yeah, my boy Pop. Pop. How can I forget about him? Pop? We're gonna catch up with Pop's high school coach and, and do a little workout. Well, I'm not doing a workout with Pop, but <laughs> yeah. um, see what he's doing. He's actually been out in Oregon working out okay. um, with some guys, so he'll be coming back. From there, catching up with us. So we have some great stories yeah. coming your way on Flame Central. One that'll hit social media coming up, Dexter Robbins. I don't know if that's going out today or not. Yeah. But, man, when you talk about country. Liberty football linebacker the, What alum. is this called in a turkey? Is it a turkey? He, like, yeah. flicks. Yeah. yeah. He's a detective <laughs> in Tennessee now. He was linebacker. Uh, Such a cool one story. of the nicknames he had when he was here, I remember, was, like, Smoky Mountain Madman. He's a Smoky Mountain Madman. Little man. guy, just... But played has a like clean, a maniac, clean record. could lift like crazy. And what does he do now? He's a detective in detective? Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, great, wow. great guy. You're, yeah, you'll love it. Great story. Also this week coming out, 30th anniversary, actually today, Dang. of the oh. first Liberty basketball team to make the NCAA tournament. How about that? Played wow. North Carolina. Yeah. And so uh, when when Coach uh, was Meyer was Danny back Yark here. At that time. Oh, is that right? Oh, gosh. Yeah. That was uh, and that's the only thing I knew about Liberty. And I was yeah. like. I didn't know anything about Liberty. They led late. Yeah, I didn't know anything game. about Liberty. And then, like, oh, they're playing North, Matt Carol Hildebrand. North Carolina. Matt Went Hildebrand. Off. Yeah. Yeah. So, a really cool story. We had, we had Coach Meyer back. A lot of really cool behind the scene footage. We had guys in the locker room with the team before the game oh, at wow. halftime. So, oh, you my see goodness. Dr. Fall, yeah, Dr. Dr. Falwell yet. talking to the team yeah. and stuff. So, wow. some really cool stuff. So, look for that coming out later this week. As you well. boys make the boys over at <laughs> Liberty Mountain proud today. Yeah. I can hear, uh, I can hear it right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, thanks so much for... I when Dr. Fall used to do that stuff. Thanks so much for... ESPN.com, bracket yes. challenge. Yes. yes, I need to and go fill out mine. any questions you have, mailbag questions Let's you want to send... Let's get the mailbag cranked up again. Let's get the this mailbag so cranked up bad. again. Flame Central at, at liberty.edu. Liberty. And, and don't you forget, if you are a Liberty alumni or employee... All right. You can get up to $5,000 off your closing costs and, uh, with our Friends of Liberty program. Visit alcova.com backslash liberty. The folks at Alcova Mortgage will take great care of you. If they do a deal, do they get to do the flamethrower? And, and you have potential to do the flamethrower. Maybe wow. uh, some sort of stuff. like yeah, they just sign a waiver of some kind. Waiver. You might need to. And if for the kids, I'm going to do, be doing birthday parties with the flamethrower. With the flamethrower. And good. I'll be shooting apples off 10-year-olds' heads. That's good. Okay. <laughs> oh, my That's gosh. Good. Well, and promise. No. Yeah. Do you, do you have to sign a waiver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to sign a waiver. Why? Mom's have to sign a waiver. Yes. However, however, yeah. my Matt, accuracy is Matt, off the charts. I won't singe, won't singe a hair on their head. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thanks so much for listening and watching. We are getting out ASAP of this podcast. For Joe and Matt, I'm Emily. We'll see you right back here next week.